Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin where we last left off we had just gotten to Dranglayet Castle. In this video we will continue and try to make it through Dranglayet Castle. Hopefully without dying a bunch. The thing to note is that these doors work just like the golems. You have to kill an enemy in front of them or near them in order to open the doors. But you can attack these enemies, these stone soldiers, before they get up. Shoot. There we go. Now lower this guy over here. Now most of these doors just have random items that I personally don't need in the game. And uh, god damn it. I don't need him getting a light. The reason that I'm not going to open any other doors besides this one is that in each door you have one of them. Yes, we have ruins sentinel in each of these rooms. Weaker than the, bo than the uh, boss, obviously. But it's still a ruin sentinel. And there's one in every room except the room you progressed from. Which I already opened earlier. when attacks go through walls. Damn it. I ain't good. Shit. <laughs> but, so yeah, so there are some items. I know there's a weapon in one of them. I believe it's the Macedon Halberd, I think. That's what I want to say it is, but I don't... I don't actually know if it is or not. Uh, and there's a few other random items scattered in the other rooms. Some of them are just empty. But this room and the other one I opened are the ones that, in my opinion, are important to open. Now, if you want to get all the items and stuff, you can open all the doors. But each door has a ruined sentinel and they constantly respawn. So I personally prefer not to deal with crap from ruined sentinels. Three was good enough for me. We stand on here and it'll break through. Ooh! Shit! Fuck! I forgot to call the first thing to add an enemy down here. In the original game it was empty. Oh fuck. There goes that one. Well, oh, let's try this again. Let's see, I've never actually known. How well does fire work on these guys? Not very well at all. Sentinels. Yep. <sighs> All I'm trying to do is get down here and light up on fire. Seriously. Enemies are driving me crazy. All I want to do is light a bonfire down here for something we can do later on in the, in the series. But the game doesn't want to let me do it. I swear I've never normally had this much difficulty with just trying to get in this room.
to do is light this bonfire. That's all I want to do. I got it. Just die, Ruin Sentinel. And you. Just die already. Ruin Helmet? Wait, you didn't get Ruin Sentinel's armor set? I didn't know that. I've never gotten a piece of drop before. Okay. And now we'll head back to the King's Gate. So this area is something we'll deal with for a later time, but at this moment, we're not going to do anything with it. But I wanted to get open while I was here. So now, we shall progress through this door. One thing I've always loved about this game is no matter how many times I've <sighs> no matter how many times I've played it, I always end up finding new stuff. So yeah. I am a rune sentinel now. <laughs> right. Sorry if I'm a little janky with the menus. I've been playing Bloodborne here lately. And it's getting dip and it's getting confusing on how it works now. <laughs> and there's the frozen flower. So now we have access to the third and final DLC area. Yeah I love how my attack gets stopped by his statue buddies, but his doesn't. There's one thing I never have liked about Dark Souls, is how the player's attacks will hit the wall and stop most of the time, while the uh, enemies can swing their weapons all they want and there's no, there's no negative to it. They won't hit a wall or nothing like that. So, yeah. Again, the flying sword. I've seen that before. On oh, a different character, that little glitch. You open the door, and I'm not going to open that chest. The fact is, these, stat these faces all shoot poison darts only after you've opened this chest, and it's not even a good item. I don't think. It might be. I'll open the chest once I no longer have to come up to this area. Because what one thing has always irritated me is trying to get to this room with these guys and then getting poisoned in the room previous to this. Instead. Die. Yeah, you can see just the big damage difference there between the, the rapier and the dagger. Also, evil painting! It petrifies you. Enough.
And there is Neiman Cooper. So. the heck, Nameless Usurper is actually coming after me? She's never done that before. She usually just stays in her place. I know. What? Did they make her more... aggressive? If so, it's news to me. Every time I, she's ever in, invaded me, she's up on my game here, she always just stays where she's invades and doesn't move until I get close. Kill an endless usurper. She's not difficult, but she did catch me off guard there because of all the enemies. <laughs> okay. So I'll come down here again. I have no idea what happened to that knight. There he is. Yeah, this place is a very dangerous place to dodge. So, backstab him. And all's going good. It's up. Nice one. Now this was something I had never known about. I've been playing through this game for so many times as I did, in order to get all the trophies on the original, I never knew about this bonfire. I knew there was a bonfire I had missed here, in this area, but I had no idea where it was. I didn't know about that hidden wall there for that bonfire. So. No, it's not anything useful. Well, not useful anyway over here, but I'm gonna go grab it anyway. Now, you, before entering any orange liquid, you want to remove all of your armor. Shoot! 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 shoot. I forgot about the rings. Who is attacking me? Why are there enemies in the water all of a sudden? There were never enemies here before. There goes getting that chest, they fucking destroyed it. And all the items inside got destroyed too, goddammit. There never used to be enemies down there. Why are there enemies there now? Seriously, I don't understand. Well, there goes that. None of my rings broke, did they? Nope, luckily. I forgot all about my rings when going in there. Ah oh, no, my silver serpent ring did break. Shit. Why am I... I need to re-equip my sword. This is gonna be a risky thing, but... Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Okay. Run down here, away from these guys, and homeward bone. Okay, well, 
That's that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to my jewel and get my ring fixed. And I was gonna show you all what was in that chest. I don't remember exactly what it was, but thanks to the enemies destroying it, it's now rubbish. Literal rubbish. So, nothing I can do about it now. I knew. What I will do is go ahead and repair. Give into the silver serpent. I'll be up. So now I can put on all my rings again. Every last single one. What was, my, what was the last one I was wearing? Right, ring blades. I can re equip my sword. Black bow because it's better, and then my pyromancy blade. Wait, I almost forgot the armor. Okay, so back to Dream Lake Castle, it's a forgotten chamber. I'm hoping to get through this next boss fight really easily. I'm hoping, at least. The boss can be a tad tricky at times. It's not a hard boss, it's just there's two enemies. Which can sometimes get you off guard if you end up focusing on the one. And the other one starts attacking. So this is the double dragon rider boss fight. My advice for this boss fight? Focus on the bowman. Keep them separate. As much as you can. Try to stay alive. And kill the bowman first. The reason I say that is because the bowman has less health. Or less defense is one. And then after that, it just becomes the original Dragon Rider fight again. So, the swings. You swing. You swing. You swing. It literally just becomes the same exact boss fight you've already faced. Only more health, so it takes more swings. And it's done. Yeah. That was good amount of time to do so. And we have Benhart. And uh, that's where we'll end this video. So I hope you all have enjoyed. And I hope to see you all in the next video. So long.